aloha kakahiaka welcome back to my channel today i am going to get tattooed and i'm so excited i'm extremely extremely excited i'm just super tired i'm running on a couple hours of sleep as usual whenever i get tattooed obviously my appointments are in normal human hours and me being the night owl that i am usually never get any sleep when I have appointments during the day. So, nocturnal problems, you know? So I'm really excited for coffee right now because this is my favorite time of the day. Not my favorite time of the day, my favorite part of the day, if you will. I'm all out of my favorite creamers, which is the coconut, um, coconut vanilla one, I think. I don't know, I've posted it a few times in my previous videos before. And my other one is the vanilla cinnamon. I think it's Coffee Mate. I don't know, I'm sorry, my brain is like not functioning right now, okay? But these are obviously vegan options because Elden has like a bunch of vegan ones, but I'm all out of mine. I think this one's new, I'm not too sure, it's pretty good. It's the brown sugar oat milk creamer. And then I add in some of my regular oat creamer just to thicken it because if I put too much of this, it's too sweet for me. So I like more creamer and less sweet. Does that make sense? I think it makes sense. I like oat creamer. It's good, it does the job, but it's nothing like that I love. I think I just like regular creamer because it's like more <sighs> creamier. And it's funny because for someone that hates milk, you would think that I would substitute it for oat milk, almond milk, stuff like that, which I do like, but in coffee, I don't know. I like her thick, you know? So the vibe for today is natural. I just do not feel like wearing glam and I'm tired. Like today I'm really tired. <laughs> Maybe I'll put on a little like highlight bronzer and like brow gel, just a little spruce. I just want to be comfortable. Today I'm wearing my oversized tee. You guys can use discount code CassieXO for discount at Laura's Boutique. And then we have Tay shorts also from LB. Y'all already know. Hopefully it's not too crooked. Honestly, it looks fine. I'm beyond tired today. I literally don't know what it is. I've just been like, Back to back to back editing, working on so many videos and other things. I'm just mentally tired. You feel me? By the way, I've already done my skincare. I did that in my bathroom. I'm using the Brow Freeze. Y'all already know this is my ride or die. I've talked about this product a few times now and ugh, still rains all. It is my holy grail. ABH really did that. We are all done. I don't even know what I'm gonna edit this down to, but that was five minutes or less. <laughs> and obviously I don't feel like beat the house down, but I definitely feel better than nothing at all. To finish off my whole look, I like to use just like a clear nude-ish gloss. And that's my completed look. Just need a little deodorant. If y'all haven't tried this one, I have been loving the deodorants from Native. So I switched over a few months ago and I love these and they have so many different scents that smell amazing. My favorite scent is definitely the charcoal one. I feel like this one gives me very like fresh, masculine boy vibes and that's who i am girl they also have so many good scents the other one that i love is the cucumber mint ah oh, this one smells so good too it's just so fresh and it makes you feel very like clean this one i also really love which is coconut vanilla ah oh, it smells so good i don't know why i'm like handing it to you to smell it <laughs> it gives me very hawaii beach vibes like I would wear this on a beach day. I feel like it depends on my mood. And that's just me being extra with all my different scents. They are also cruelty free and vegan, paraben and aluminum free. The texture is very smooth. It's not sticky. It dries quickly, great for on the go. I always throw it in my backpack. They also have other products in their line like the toothpaste. I have to talk about the toothpaste because first of all, it's almost gone. Thank God I have another one. This is fluoride free and this is the charcoal with mint. So it is more of a like black 
toothpaste, which kind of looks scary at first, but it doesn't leave your teeth black or anything at all. It's definitely translucent, but I love this toothpaste, especially because I have very sensitive teeth and this one's very gentle on my gums, my teeth, and it is so good. And they also have body wash, which is in my shower, but love their body wash as well. Normally it would be $36 for three deodorants, but if you use my discount code, which is Cassie and my link, which I'll have below, you guys can get all three for $24. And with my code, you'll receive 20% off the body wash and the toothpaste. I've been using them for quite a few months now and I literally love them. So shout out again to Native. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and yeah, let's go get tatted. JK, I forgot to show you guys my full fit with the shoes. I have the smoke gray lows. Purr. So I'm on my way and I just realized that I didn't eat anything. <laughs> Love that for me. Yeah, I usually try to eat before all of my tattoo appointments because A, I don't want to get lightheaded and B, I don't want to pass out. So great. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to ask Eldiana to post to me. Fun fact, I don't have any delivery service like apps on my phone, which is like a good thing, I guess. But yeah, I don't have any, so. I also don't have a mount in my car, so I'm holding my camera right now, so I should probably go. But yeah, I'll see you guys there. Look who showed up. <laughs> We're taking a quick food break. Elden put up with some goods and we're watching the conjuring the new conjuring what is it number three number four i don't know but <laughs> we're about to chow down ryan little <laughs> Literally, what? I'm still shook. It's been two days now. I'm here editing my video and I'm just like, I still can't believe it's real. Saul is hands down the best portrait artist I have ever known in my entire life. And obviously like, I knew it was gonna come out amazing. Like I did not doubt him one bit, but when I saw it, I wish I had my reaction cause I was speechless. I was so shook, I'm still shook. The amount of details that Saul put even in like the sleeve of Posty's arms, like the sleeves were insane. I tried my hardest the entire night not to look at all and I didn't until the final end. And I was just like, I was blown away and I'm still blown away. And I'm just so freaking stoked that I have a freaking posty piece. Like what? I just have to say a huge, huge, huge shout out and thank you to Saul for killing this piece. We're not done. He wants to do another session. We only have like a couple touch-ups to do. He wants to do a little more shading in the cowboy hat, which I think it's legit perfect the way it is. But he wants to do a little more shading and probably add some highlights and some whites in there. So that'll be the next session. And we're also adding on to the bottom of the piece with another artist named Lobs. He's another one of our friends. He's gonna be doing like 
some letters on the bottom. So I'm not gonna give it away yet. You guys will just have to stay tuned for the next video. But we are doing a huge collab together soon with all three of us really soon on the front of my leg so we're just a work in progress right now you guys like there is so much fire coming soon surprisingly i've only been tattooed by saul once which is the pineapple on my calf it's funny because we see saul and his wife kim all the time they're our really good friends and you guys probably see on my stories i'm tagging them every time they have like a house party we're always there getting lit together but yeah this is the second time that i'm getting tattooed by saul and i am so honored he is the most talented freaking artist like honestly if you guys ever want to get a portrait he can tattoo anything but he specializes in portraits and he is insane. Like I've gotten stopped so many times when people have seen my pineapple on my leg. I can't even imagine once people see like Posty on my leg. I'm just so honored that I get to collect these beautiful pieces from such a phenomenal artist. But yeah, he fucking killed it. Like we were there for a little over 12 hours and the amount of hard work and dedication he puts in to his work is just like mind-blowing. I seriously cannot wait for our next session. I feel like I always have to mention in my tattoo vlogs that I don't really vlog as much live because we always have music playing in the background and I'm not trying to get copyright, but Saul is pretty shy too, which is funny because he's more camera shy. Like he's not in person, but when it comes to the camera, I don't really want to like make him feel uncomfortable. Maybe the next vlog when I have him and Lobs in the video, maybe we'll like, do more live vlogging but yeah i don't know we'll see you guys are probably wondering why posty and honestly i've always loved post malone i've loved listening to his music he was that artist that whenever i don't know what to play when i'm getting ready or i'm in the car and i'm like mm, i don't know what to play i just put post malone because i know he'll always come through i can literally always be in the mood to listen to posty so i have had a love for his music, but over the last, I would say year and a half, I've been really like getting to know him as a person, not just an artist. Me acting like we're all friends, I wish. That's literally like, if there's one guy that I could ever meet in my life or one artist, it would be Post Malone. Like, I've just watched literally every single podcast, every single interview, like everything about Post Malone. He is such a kind soul like everybody has nothing but good things to say about him you can truly feel that energy like he's just such a real human being you know like not only that but he's super funny he's such a dork like me you know <laughs> and overall just a talented amazing artist like oh, every time i listen to his music i'm like in a different dimension and i i mean this might sound dramatic to some but you know, you fangirl over certain people and I've grown this obsession for Post Malone over the past couple years. I just admire him as not only an artist, but a human. He is such a solid person. And a lot of that was also inspired by one of my best friends, Brickell. She has the most obsession for Post Malone. And the more we would talk about him, the more I'm like, I freaking love this guy. She would send me videos to watch of him or she'll send me like photos or posts that she sees and I'll send them back to her. And the more we like talked about him, the more I just grew this admiration for him. And I just, I love him. So yeah, I mean, plain and simple. I got him because I'm a huge fan. He's one of my biggest idols and that's it. Like, honestly, that's really it. If you guys wanna know the pain level, I will say, that was spicy AF. So in the ditch area on the bottom, this area right here was so bad. And I'm actually glad that we started out here first because you know, when you're like fresh, you have an even more higher pain tolerance. And even though I have a high pain tolerance, that is a bad area. Like everybody that I've talked to that got the ditch tattooed have said it is by far the worst and that's not even like in the actual ditch yet so that's gonna be my next session and i am scared for that because my next session is gonna be like the entire ditch area so i will say that was probably like an eight out of ten i felt worse my lower back still takes the cake for the worst tattoo pain i've ever personally felt and then my palms but the ditch was bad not even gonna lie so 
yeah, I mean, the rest was pretty smooth sailing. It wasn't that bad overall. I don't know exactly how long we were tattooing for. I mean, I was there for 12 hours and we've taken breaks in between, but it was worth every single minute. Like, honestly, I mean, it speaks for itself. And I wish you guys could see it in person because I always feel like video and pictures do no justice. Like, it is incredible to the human eye. Like, incredible. It's literally a photo slapped on my leg. Like, I don't know. I can go on and on and on about it, but I cannot wait to bring you guys along the journey of the progress, I guess, of my leg. And if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you guys can keep up with all my art journey. I don't even want to call it tattoos because it's just art, you know? It's something that I'm so passionate about and I love filming and being able to share it with you guys and editing some lit montages so make sure you guys check out Saul's work he rarely posts i always like bug him to post more but you know he's a busy guy he stays tattooing literally like every single day and he's a father of two i mean i give him props because that guy hustles hard as fuck and his wife kim like they both are a power couple for sure but yeah thanks for hanging out with me i can't wait for the next session i love you guys so much and i'll see you in the next one